In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick time lapse of me assembling this carport. It's a cool carport and it's cheap and I would buy it again in a second. Had I known how awesome it was, I would have bought it a long time ago. And the first thing we need to do is trim this tree. I don't know why, but putting oil in an electric chainsaw just seems so weird to me. This is gonna sound crazy, but hand sanitizer is like the best thing ever to get pitch off. This also works really well if you have pitch on your car, it just pulls it right off. You ready for something crazy cool? So these instructions, they say like 5136136135141, what does that mean? All these different numbers. And it's numbers, that's almost like math and stuff. But then when you look at the actual box, all the items are listed out. Five one. Five two. That's pretty stinking cool, huh? I think this is gonna go together in 45 minutes. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Welcome to my world of awesomeness. Oh yeah. So let's discuss a few things about this tent. One, let's close the door. Yeah, 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 I know. It's just as loud now as it was before, but this is a really cool thing. One, the lighting is really consistent in here, not necessarily just for filming, but for working on your car. So if I have a light somewhere in this little booth, it reflects off of the roof and the walls and it comes back onto the car. This is so awesome. It's so much brighter in here with consistent light. Okay, there are some issues with this thing, but I think if we take the time and address them. If you buy one of these carports, I think you're really going to enjoy setting it up and actually having one. The last thing I'll give you a tip on is the bottom pipes. The bottom pipes? What are the bottom pipes? Now here's the tricky part that is not in the instructions. So what they did for cost savings, and I don't fault them for this, I think this is a plenty valid solution, was to make one sleeve that goes all the way down the line. And then they just cut two holes in it so that you can actually apply the pipes to the connectors to the vertical bars. Oh, yeah! Are you telling me you haven't even been recording this whole time? Really? <laughs> All right, fine. I made a mistake and forgot to push the button. Kind of a big mistake to make, though. Really? Uh, oh well. 